Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to Vlogmas Day 9. This technically isn't even like vlog style. I don't know, I did my make- what? What am I talking about? It's too early into the video to be this scramble br- scram- <laughs> scramble brained. But y'all, I, you know, if you watched yesterday's video, I'm a little unwell. I'm still feeling a little unwell. I think it's just the combination of filming, editing, uploading every single day, plus being on my period right now and having it be like a terrible period. Like, it's not an easy one. I'm so exhausted. I have literally no motivation to do anything and my whole body is in pain. So we're kind of unwell but I'm still coming through for you guys. I got Chick-fil-A today. I can't stop with the British accent. I can't stop. I don't know what to do. I got Chick-fil-A today, so I'm feeling a tiny teensy bit better. And today I'm sitting down and doing sort of just like a very chill video because that's all my mental can handle right now. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite products, I guess, sort of. I don't really know what to title this video, but basically all of my favorite beauty slash hygiene products of 2023. These are products that I use damn near every single day or I repurchase multiple times or you know things that I just feel like I can't live without there's so many good products out there and it can be very overwhelming to actually like purchase things because it's like oh my gosh but what if there's something better and I just don't like this one and whatever whatever so maybe if you've been on the fence about purchasing one of these items I could persuade you I don't know I'm gonna have all of these products linked on my Amazon storefront for you guys and you guys can find that in the description if you want no pressure so yeah let's get into to my favorite beauty slash I mean I guess beauty kind of covers it skincare makeup hair care hygiene body care all of it okay so I have all of the products sitting here I sort of have them organized sort of not and I don't really know where to start maybe skincare I feel like that's a good place to start this is my favorite product in the whole world like you couldn't tell me anything different aquaphor aquaphor is such a uniform Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Such a universally amazing product. I have small tubes that I put in my purses and my wallets for when I'm going places. I have like the medium-sized tube that I keep next to my bed. If I'm literally looking at it. I have the spray tube. I have literally every single size container that Aquaphor sells, I think. This is my tub. I use this mainly on my body. Sometimes I'll like use it for my lips, but I have a different Aquaphor for my lips and it's over there. Some days when I get out of the shower, especially in the winter, and I just feel really dry all over I will just lather myself in this or the spray one I feel like I don't really need to go much further into explanation like this is literally the best product ever you can put it anywhere I even put this on like my eyelashes or my eyebrows like if I don't want to wear makeup but I kind of want you know something if you curl your lashes and then coat them with aquaphor it's not only moisturizing them but it kind of like makes them look thicker and like darker in my opinion I don't know if that's just delusionalness but I put this everywhere seriously moving on to actual skincare my favorite cleanser of the year it's not like I know that there's better out there but one that I've used this is like my second bottle and it's almost gone this is the La Roche Posay Effaclear medicated gel cleanser I this year for the first time pretty much ever I mean I've dealt with like very minimal acne in the past but this is the first year where I've kind of dealt with like bigger breakouts and like cystic type of pimples and that's when I started using this stuff and I can't you know know for sure if this is what helped my skin but but this is a new product that I tried like halfway through the year and I feel like it's a really good cleanser if you have either oily skin I don't have oily skin so I try not to use this like every single time I wash my face because it is a little bit stripping because it's very exfoliating it has like BHAs and I actually don't know what's in here salicylic acid it can be a little bit drying so I just kind of like alternate it with a more moisturizing cleanser but this cleanser has been so amazing. The next product is a face mask, and this is also my second tube of it. They actually sent me the first tube, like Caudalie sent me the first tube for free as like PR, and then I went and I purchased it again with my own money because I loved it so much. This is the Caudalie Vinergenic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. It's basically just a clay mask that you put on and leave on for five to 10 minutes, and I feel like it just, I don't know what it does, but it works miracles, swear. I have another product from Caudalie. It's the Vinyl Pure Serum. I saw like their white serum. I also have it. It's like their radiant serum I think or maybe it's called vinyl perfect I don't know. It's like the white one. It went very viral on TikTok. Not very viral But like pretty viral on TikTok and I've tried that one But I don't think it's like the best thing ever like I could definitely go without it But this you guys I seriously love this so much. It's almost out I have like this much product left in it. That's actually so sad. I thought I had more Oh, but yeah, this is just like a little serum type of thing that I put on before my moisturizer I don't even know what it's supposed to 
to do. I literally don't even know what this is for. Now that I'm thinking about it, it just says skin perfecting serum and I feel like it makes my skin look perfect. Moving on, we have another mask that went pretty viral on TikTok. See, I hate being this big that's just like oh this product was popular on tiktok and like that's why i like it it's not why i like it like obviously i was influenced by tiktok to purchase these things or to try them out but i'm talking about them today because i actually ended up loving them this is the ordinary aha bha peeling solution this is a very intense mask i use it probably once every two weeks when my skin is feeling like super just like ugh, and i feel like i need to like exfoliate all the bad stuff out of it it's a really good mask but it can be super 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 drying and damaging if you don't use it correctly you leave it on for like 10 minutes or less and again you use it like once a week or once every two weeks and it's just like a really good exfoliant for like getting stuff out of your pores and just like bringing everything to the surface I have two last products one is this and you can tell it's a favorite because it is completely empty I saved this container just for this video it's the biosyn squalane plus omega repair cream this is the best moisturizer if you have drier skin I don't think I've ever had had a moisturizer compared to this one if you guys want me to be completely honest it is so thick and creamy and when you put it on it doesn't just see okay some people like putting on a moisturizer and having it completely go away and like go into the skin and just like not be there anymore where I like my moisturizers to like obviously go into my skin and like moisturize and do what it needs to do but I also kind of like when it leaves the like glowiness and like you can still feel moisturized the moisturizer I'm using right now is like very thin and I feel like it just absorbs instantly and then it's just like gone and I feel like I need more from it last product is again almost empty <laughs> and we've all seen her we've all seen her and you know maybe she isn't necessary I honestly was like spending that much on a little like lip mask is just stupid by the way if you can't tell this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask I thought it was pointless to spend so much money on this type of product when I have aquaphor it's like how much better can this be than aquaphor and it's like I don't know but there's something about this that's just like different than that you know what I mean I really like this product I really really like it and also this has lasted me I want to say over a year and a half which I don't know if it's like expired it still smells like freaking berries or whatever the flavor is I'm not even kidding this lasts me so long so yes it's kind of an investment but you as long as you don't lose it you're gonna have it for a really long time and I use this like day and night every single day and I've had it for over a year and a half all right moving on to makeup products I guess that kind of makes sense I have a few here to show you Number one, this is my base at the moment, the Super Goop Glow Screen in the shade Golden Hour. This is a life-changing product because I used to use the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops, which I still love, but when you use those, you have to mix it with a moisturizer to kind of get it to rub in nicely, and that doesn't count for sunscreen, for SPF, and I am not an SPF girl. At least, I used to not be. I used to never wear sunscreen. It was just like an extra step. Like, sometimes in the summer, I would if I knew I was going to be outside a lot that day or whatever, but when I'm doing my whole whole skincare routine we have eye creams we have serums we have moisturizer we have the bronzy drops we have spf on top of all that it's a lot right this completely takes away like three of those steps so it's got the spf it's got the glowiness you don't have to mix the moisturizer in with it i just rub it in with my bare hands i've tried the original it's great love it makes your skin glowy but if you are pale like me get the tinted version that's like darker because if you guys can see you can kind of see the color that it is on the tint tip there it's literally like darker than the bronzy drops but when you blend it all in and then you put makeup on top or don't put makeup on top it just gives you like the most subtle little tint to your skin and it's so good I put this under my makeup every single day I have it on today love her moving on we have the Kosas concealer I won't talk about this too much just know that it's a super creamy natural looking concealer I have again dry skin I've talked about it a lot of concealers kind of get I don't know like flaky on my skin if I have any sort of dryness this gets like or not this but like concealers will get flaky and kind of just like not look good where this is super hydrating and creamy and glowy so when I put it on top of even dry skin it just like smooths it all out and it like moisturizes while it's like doing its thing concealing I really like this um I don't know I use it every single day then we have my favorite contour of this year and it is my trusty dusty oh this one is lit oh oh 
oh she's old I was trying to screw it up and it just broke because there's nothing more to screw up we are at the very bottom of this thing and I have a new one I do it's over there I just contour with it cheeks nose forehead I put it on top of my eyelids as like an eyeshadow I just feel like it blends really well and it's really easy to make it look super natural and I go for really natural makeup most of the time I'm not doing like a full face or anything what you see on my face is pretty much what I do every single day which it probably doesn't even look like I have makeup on maybe like mascara or whatever but I go for super natural makeup and a lot of the contours that I've tried are just like too much it's either too creamy too pigmented too hard to blend or sometimes it'll be easy to blend but it's just like too much where if you're like a natural girly I feel like this is the best contour for you and then we have liquid oh okay thank you liquid blush this is another super popular tiktok product i love you selena gomez rare beauty liquid blushes i specifically love this shade it's the color joy i feel like peachy orangey blushes look the best on me because i feel like it contrasts with my blue eyes and makes my eyes pop but i've tried other shades of the rare beauty liquid blush and i love them all it's just this one in particular has been my favorite that i've tried what i love about this product is it's a cream product like you put it on it's like this little wand if you haven't seen it it is a cream product but when you put it on and start blending it out it almost feels like it turns into a powder so you're not going to have any weird separation at least i haven't experienced any weird separation like on top of foundation or skin tints so the glow screen or anything sometimes with liquid blushes or liquid products in general you get some sort of separation or it doesn't blend nice i feel like this blends like a powdered product that's the only way i can describe it speaking of powdered products this is literally the only powdered product that i have to show you guys anyways this is the anastasia beverly hills blush trio they have so many different shades so it's just a little blush trio and i mean there's nothing super special it's just i reach for this every single day because i feel like they blend so nicely and mixing these two shades right here gives me like the perfect color for my face all of Anastasia's products are so good honestly like I I always reach for them and then we have a product that has been in my routine for probably like five six years at this point this is the Tarte Tartlet in bloom eyeshadow palette and again this is perfect for natural girlies if you are looking for an eyeshadow palette that has it all this is the one to go with like if you're looking for nude shades light brown Browns, dark browns really dark browns that are almost black you want some shimmer in there and some mattes this is literally the perfect neutral palette it is my favorite palette to date like I I love this palette so much <coughs> Sorry, I'm talking too much. I believe this is my second or third in bloom palette that I've ever bought. I think I bought my first one in like eighth grade. Like, I have loved this for so long. Now, one of my favorite lip products of this year has been the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. This is in the shade Primrose. My friend had this at a country festival that we went to together in July and I was using it, or maybe it was June. I don't remember. I think June. She had it with her and I was using it all night because she brought it to the festival with us and it quickly turned into like my favorite thing ever i literally went to sephora i think a few days after we got back from that festival and bought my own in the same shade so thank you ella for this wreck even though you didn't even recommend it you just like let me use it and i fell in love these are super popular now um they have different ones they have like shifts they're called or they have just the lip gloss my favorite has been the lip plump i have four other ones that are like different not just the plump and the plump is my favorite because it's super glossy it's super pigmented but it's also plumping continuing with lip products i I hate being this big again just talking about all these popular products that people might be like oh it's not worth the hype guys I tried for so long to not get this and to not you know let myself fall in love with it I mean obviously since I have it I would love to love it but also it's like I don't want to fall in love with it because I don't want to have to keep repurchasing it because it's it's expensive but this is the Dior lip oil in just the clear shade I believe or maybe it's in light pink I think it's clear even though it looks light pink it doesn't like give you any color I don't think this is just like the most hydrating lip oil I've ever tried and it's super thick thick and just glossy so I love this I know you probably didn't want to hear that because she's expensive but now we have my favorite mascara um I've talked about this for years too L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara I've tried the regular one that comes in a gold too I also really like that one I don't even honestly know what the difference is I've just been buying the carbon black one because I want my eyelashes to be as dark as possible but this is a really great mascara it's also drugstore so it's more affordable and finally we have my favorite setting 
setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Extra Glow Setting Spray. The original All Nighter is great. The matte one, great. But if you like your skin glowy and dewy, like I don't have any highlighter on you guys. I swear this is all just like this spray. I didn't even use like a shimmery blush or anything. Like I, I don't, this is just, it's so perfect. It's so good. It sets your makeup so beautifully. It actually like makes your makeup stay all night, which is really important because I feel like some setting sprays like don't even actually set your makeup. But more importantly, I love this because of this beautiful glow. Like you can see even then it just got like a little bit more glowy. That is everything. Okay, I guess we're moving into body or should I do hair? I guess I'll do hair. As far as my favorite shampoo and conditioner of the year, this has got this has got to win. This is the Orb Gold Less Repair and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. This is a very pricey shampoo and conditioner, but if you have tried everything and your hair still feels like it's falling out, like you have a lot of damage, you can't seem to find anything that's going to actually like help your hair, I recommend this. If you're fine with how your hair is, I don't think, like if you have pretty healthy hair, I don't think this is a necessity, but I truly think these two products are a big part of what got my hair to the point where it's at right now. I haven't had my hair dyed or trimmed in over six months. Like, it is in desperate need. I have an appointment next week. My hair is so grown out. It's horrible. Without having a trim, guys, my hair is so freaking soft and smooth and I owe a lot of that to these two products, I think. But also, more importantly, skip these. Like, if I'm, if you're gonna buy any of the hair, hair, if you're going to buy any of the hair products that I'm talking about, save it for these next ones because these are great, but I feel like you can get away with not using these if you're using these other products. First product, I've talked about this so many times. This is literally, not kidding, my fifth bottle of this stuff and it's almost gone it's almost gone you probably can't read it super well but this is the lanza keratin healing oil hair treatment it is the best hair oil i've ever used i just do like two pumps into my hair when it's damp like after i get out of the shower i'll kind of run it through my ends and rub, run it up to like the middle of my hair i seriously love this oil this is actually probably what i owe my whole life to going further i have another lanza product this is the healing color care trauma treatment and it's basically a leave-in conditioner or you can mix it in with your conditioner and do it in the shower as like a mask like you can mix it with your conditioner and then let it sit in your hair for a while I've never tried that personally just because I feel like I get such good results just using it again as my hair is damp I'll go in with the oil first and then I'll go in with another hair oil <coughs> which I do like but it's not as good as this one I go in with two hair oils and then I go in with this stuff to kind of like seal it all and it is so freaking good and then on top of all that I spray this Lanza Moisture moisturizing mist this stuff is so good it's technically a leave-in hair conditioner it says it says it detangles while protecting hair from UV heat and environmental stresses so I use this as like my heat protectant I use it before I blow dry my hair obviously it's kind of like a heat protectant but like I just use it basically every time I shower and then if I'm gonna curl my hair or straighten it or something I'll spray it all over as well then the last hair product I have is not hair care but I figured I would share it with you guys just because I've been loving it it's the the S-N-T-E Sam Sam Knight hair wax stick. I know Bedhead makes a stick thing like this too and I'm sure it's probably the same exact thing but basically just get a wax stick for your hair if you like slicking your hair back. I just wash my hair so I'm not gonna obviously do it and it's not slick back but like you would just like rub it like after your hair is up and like get all of the little flyaways and like all the pieces around your face. You just can lay it down so well or if you want to carry this with you in your purse because you know sometimes you know throughout a night out or a day out or a day at school your slick back can kind of come unslicked because it's just like you know it doesn't hold forever so if you're going someplace and you know that you're not going to be able to like fix your hair up much just bring this and then like if something you know pops out like if you have some flyaways you can just tame them real quick and it's super easy all right I guess I'll talk about my curling iron now because so many of you guys asked me about this I talked about it before I've been using this for years but it's my favorite because of how long this barrel is it is an actual curling iron so it has a clamp I don't use the clamp you guys I don't know how to curl my hair like you're supposed to like I just I, I've tried and I can't do it so I use this as if it were a rod and I just wrap it around like that and then let it go and it's the babyless pro nano titanium 
curling iron it's like this blue one if you guys look it up on like Ulta or Amazon you should be able to find it okay now we have some body products we have four body products number one let's talk about my favorite uh, body wash of the year this is the Old Spice moisture with shea butter body wash it's technically a men's deodorant but it smells like heaven it smells so delicious and this is the most moisturizing body wash I have ever used I've used every single body wash you can think of like I love so many of them but nothing compares to this one like I've said a million times I have pretty dry skin so when I get out of the shower I usually immediately have to put lotion on or I feel so dry like right off the bat but when I use this I don't even feel the need to moisturize after I shower I still do just because I'm used to doing that's part of my routine but this is so freaking moisturizing you guys and it smells so good and I find that the smell actually lasts on your skin next we have the Nivea essentially enriched with deep nourishing serum almond oil what I don't even know. It's just this big blue Nivea body lotion. This is incredibly thick and it's a pain in the butt to rub it all into your skin. But if you have dry skin and you love feeling and looking super moisturized and glowy, this is the product for you. It kind of smells like baby lotion. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't like have the best smell ever. It doesn't smell bad. It smells good, but it's not like a super like ooh, you know, like it's not like a crazy, like it smells like a baby lotion. When I tell you guys, I have worn this before when wearing like dresses or tank tops where like my arms are exposed and like my collarbone is exposed and stuff. And people will ask me what body oil I'm wearing. Or people have asked me like if I use like a body shimmer type of thing. This makes you so glowy. I don't even know how to explain it. I'll try to like show you guys on my hand. Okay, so this is the hand that has no lotion on it. There isn't really like a glow or a shine to it. The light might be making it look like a little bit but then this is the hand with the lotion on it do you guys see how much that's like glowing in the light it's so pretty and I'm not kidding it like sits on your skin like that and it like stays glowy and it's so pretty also super moisturizing I love it my throat is so dry we're almost done y'all thought I would make this video without including my favorite is fake tan absolutely not if you guys don't know Sadie Crowell one of my dear friends who also does social media she released her own skin no that's not what it's called self tan fake tan brand I think last year she released it or maybe it was this year I don't even remember anyway she has like a tanning mousse she has this I think she may or may not be coming out with a different product soon I don't know I really haven't talked to her about it but I remember her mentioning something that maybe like a different type of product was like being tested it's called sunkiss by Sadie and this is the bronzing mist and I love her mousse as well but I am not lying when I say I use this pretty much every single night especially in the winter time when I am so freaking just pale and grew grew gross gross when i'm gross when i look gross the way i can describe it is literally like a hairspray but at night after i do all my skincare and i'm ready basically to go to bed i'll put my hair back and i'll spray this like pretty far away from my face just like this really quick and then i take a huge like makeup brush thing that's like super dense and i just like blend it all in really well and i wake up and i'm like four shades darker and then i rinse it off and i look like two shades darker but yes she ate it up with this product and yes she's my friend so like i want to be able to like promote her stuff but above everything like I'm not kidding I use this every single day and I also have had it for a really long time and I still feel like there's like half the amount of product in it like it's like half gone uh. oh <laughs> it's like only half gone all right last product is this perfume which I've talked about this was really hard for me to pick my favorite perfume of the year I was like maybe I should do a few and then I was like no because if I had to tell you guys go spend your money if you got money for Christmas if you got money for your birthday or you just like have money and you want to spend it if I had to tell you to go buy one perfume what perfume what perfume it's literally called a perfume though, isn't that? If I had to go tell you guys to buy one single fragrance, it would be this one because of how inexpensive it is, how beautiful it smells, and how long it lasts, and also how many compliments I get on it. This is the, I don't actually know the name of the brand. I'm gonna look it up because I never say it because it's not on the bottle anywhere. For some reason, I don't know why they don't have the name on here, but they don't. Gourmand Beauty. This is the Fleur de Blonde Air de, Air de Perfume. I don't know, but. I got this from Urban Outfitters. I think it's like $25 for this bottle, which might still seem expensive, but y'all get it during your birthday month from Urban and it was $12 for me. Like with the little birthday coupon, I got this perfume for $12. I got it for my birthday, which is in February, and I got this when I went to Chicago. So like, I've had this for almost a year and it's still, it's like a little more than halfway gone. And I swear I've used this almost every single day. This has like been my most used perfume this entire year and I used it, or I got it in February. So it's lasted me a really long time. 
one but it's a $25 perfume instead of like an $85 perfume and it is pretty small it's only one fluid ounce so I guess you can take that into consideration oh I guess one more thing that I can talk about this year or this this video this has been one of my favorite things this entire year it's a Stanley dupe but when people call it a Stanley dupe I get a little bit offended now because I think this is better than Stanley it has a little rubber silicone thing where you like put the straw in I don't know if you guys can see there when you like put the straw in it goes in like that and it prevents it from leaking isn't that genius 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 I think they look more sleek and like aesthetically pleasing and they're also cheaper than Stanley's this is the simply modern tumbler cup I don't really know what it's called I feel like I drink so much more water than I used to with this thing and it fits in my cup holder in my car which I love because I always was a hydro flask girly but they never fit in the cup holder and then I would just like throw it in my back seat and then forget about it and then it'd be rolling around and like super loud so this is my go-to girly I've actually had two of these my mom broke the other one because she dropped it on the handle while it was full and then the handle snapped off oh I feel like I've been talking forever my throat hurts from talking like I'm done I'm done thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys gain some insight maybe you have some ideas of things that you want to purchase when you have the chance or you know I guess Christmas is kind of I mean Christmas isn't over Christmas hasn't, ha Christmas hasn't happened yet but I feel like it's a little late to be asking for things but if you got money for Christmas you could go out and buy some of these things with that money if you guys don't have anything else that you've been thinking about buying Anywho, I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.